Oh god. Oh, is this a regret? No, it's not a regret. We're good. We're happy. We're fine. Hey guys, what's good? Uh, in this video, I'm going to cut my own hair. In case you haven't heard, I lost my job. That makes it seem like it's like a breakdown video for losing my job. No, it's just that I can't afford a haircut. And look at how long this- what? My hair is so long now. I had a tragic haircut in, I think it was like 2011, where they cut my hair. Like I wanted, my hair was like here and I wanted to here and they cut it up. And since then, I've just been trying to grow my hair because I was like, I want long hair. One thing that's always creeped me out is when hair goes down to your butt, for some reason, freaks me out. I don't like it. And my hair is that length now. Like it's just, when it's this long, it's so heavy and it's lost a lot of its like volume. I love big hair and it's just lost that. I want it, look, we'll set our goals. I want it like here. Like I want, I want this much gone. Because right now it's too long that it covers my waist. My figure is very hourglass. I want it sitting on my boobs, so that's like a big bit. But then when it covers my waist, I'm just like a box. And I don't want that. And as I said before, I lost my job, so I don't have any disposable income. <laughs> so, we're gonna cut my own hair. I just got out of the shower. I think a good step would be to brush it. Every method I saw said a ponytail method, but I don't want to do that. It always gave ugly straight results. We should try something that I haven't seen done online or be successful in any realm. That sounds good. First step is brushing the hair. So, fast forward this bit, Fiona. The issue is, I've always been like brush from the bottom up, so you just kind of like do little sections, but now my hair's so long that when I do that, by the time I get to here, this has got like knotty again. Something that shouldn't inspire much hope in anybody is the fact that this t shirt is one that I cut. <laughs> it was meant to just be like off the shoulder, but it's now like very, very off the shoulder. <laughs> so it's it's a bit much. <laughs> okay, this is my hair. Let's just show you how long this is, one sec. If I put it out to this side, oh, it's out here. Does it keep coming? Oh, it keeps, keeps on coming. Why is there so much hair? Oh my God, I just wanna cut it, I wanna cut it now. My tools are scissors that I just got from my kitchen. I've got a hair elastic and this will catch the hair because as you can see, I'm cutting it in my bed. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a live stream. This is a very like, chilled, laid-back feel like I have on my live streams. Actually, as you guys ask me questions, before we do the first chop, let's answer one question. Um, we've got a lot of, why are you doing this? Are you okay? Are you sure you want to do this? Don't do it, man. Wait, what length are you going? Don't do it. Q&A segment of this went really well. Oh my, oh my god, no. I have a first date with someone tomorrow. Oh my god, okay, I have to, I have to retie it. I'm going to cut it. I will cut it. Is that too much to cut off? Do I cut above or below the hair elastic? We'll do below. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Stop cutting. I think I'm at the hair elastic. <laughs> oh my god. This, this, my hair's so thick. I'm ruining my hair right now. This is very difficult. Why would I just cut? <laughs> cut off. Oh my god. This is the last bit. It wasn't the smooth cut that I'd seen in other videos, but that's a- Okay, this is falling everywhere. I actually don't think it looks that bad, but it almost definitely does. You know what? You're too long. You're just gonna kind of- Can I shape my face? There's just some bits which are like significantly longer still that did not get snipped. Oh, but see that? I just- I like that more. Time for the second- oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna get it the same length. Or oh, this is gonna be an issue. You are- how long? This is how the hairdressers do it, right? I think Maddie just got home. Maddie's boyfriend is visiting at the moment, so I never see her. So this is what I'm doing with my evenings instead of hanging out with Maddie and watching Chasing Cameron on Netflix. I'm nervous, but I have to do this. I've done the other side. I think the only sharp part of these scissors, to be honest, is the end. So we're gonna- we're learning things. That's the second lot of hair that- oh my god, I'm shedding it all in. This is such a bad idea. So that's how unequal are they? <laughs> there is hair everywhere on my bed. I feel bad because I don't really have like an inspirational message behind my video. A lot of hair cutting videos are like, I've felt this emotion about my hair or it covers up an insecurity. I definitely like having long hair. I'm not too mad at this. I think that's okay. I was going to do that thing where they do- they cut up to make it all edgy, but I think that my original cut was so bad and so what's happening, how many cuts does she want to do because these scissors are so blunt that it's almost given it that effect anyway. How does it reach on the back? Oh my god, the back, <laughs> the back is so short. I kind of want to go shorter, but I think I'm going to leave it at that because I don't trust myself to do that again. Anyway, this is my new hair. <laughs> well, there's so many bits that are just like very long, like cool. 
new hair. I'm trying to like find a word to sum up the fact that this isn't me having a breakdown after losing my job. It's just me not being able to afford a haircut after losing my job. Like it's purely financial. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I'm an idiot. Cool. <laughs> Bye.